I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. Proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. <laughs> Steady, Sherry. Steady. And... Go! My favourite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage, and don't forget the environment. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. All right, let's move on, Sherry. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all... Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past it. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here. Take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. Good luck, Sherry. And remember, the surroundings are your playground. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. Overcome him. Don't rush. I'm coming. 
Too simple. I'm coming. Ready for campaign. Take a rest, my friend. Not that easy. I'm gonna hurt you. Overcome the brute now. No more crime for you, and give him the pepper snuff. That's enough. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it, but at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Don't know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. Hey, Sherry, there's post here, and it seems as if the letter was delivered recently. After reading that, I am even less eager to return home than before. Let's investigate our manor. That's the Mycroft I know. Predictable. She is. Our old manor. It's smaller than I remember. You were a couple of feet shorter back then, Sherry. Or maybe it's bigger on the inside. Look at the ash all over the door. I don't recall hearing of a fire. We don't have to stay here. You can afford another night or two at the hotel. Hmm. Stuck. Oh well, let's just head back. They probably haven't even stripped our room yet. Come on. <clears throat> Must be locked. Move aside. Let me have a go. Seems fine to me, Sherry. This barrier. Perhaps it's mental, not physical. Or perhaps the rest of us are simply constrained by reality, John. I wonder if there's a key secreted somewhere in the garden. Take a look around, Sherlock. 
I'm sure you'll discover something. I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. Hey, that's Wooden Joe. He was always the best at playing criminals. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass are very precious. Funny, Wooden Joe reminds me of the trouble we once got in with the police. Do you remember, John? Hmm, somewhat. Maybe we can recall more details. The policeman brought us both home, John. That's why he was here. I'm pretty sure he brought something else with him, too. Do you remember what it was? I bet it was our reward. No, we were not so lucky. It was a set of lockpicks that we had used to sneak into someone's house. That's why we were arrested. Did someone come out to investigate all the commotion? It was Mycroft. He smoothed things over and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. Mycroft wasn't happy about the fact that we were arrested. It felt like he lectured us for hours. Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Ugh, oh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world. This deserves further investigation. Perhaps there's more to discover inside. As long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up, I'll be happy. Maybe a chaise long. Aha! In we go. Home sweet home, Sherry. Mycroft's umbrella, the only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. One of the first things I saw when entering this house as a child. It's like deja vu. And I was wondering why it's so empty in here. There may be a small chance that some of our property could be found among local traders' wares. It is worth a look, wouldn't you say? Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Another memory incoming, Sherry. Strange. I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. The only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. I remember how angry Mycroft was about these marks. He called it a frivolous, childish endeavor. There was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. 
Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering? Or is it my imagination? Your neighbors will be told that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. Upstairs, go to your room. Lean on me, mother. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you all right? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? I think our family portrait used to hang here. Look at this. It's like traveling ten years into the past with a single step. Oddly satisfying. Oh, oh it reminds me of our neighbor. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? Need to repeat this one day, but with bullets. Cold dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. An artifact from Palau carved out a bone and claimed to be 300 years old. My mother proved it was a fake. My very favorite plaything. It was the perfect pirate treasure. <laughs> Cannot believe all my toys are still here. Hey, they were not just yours. They were half mine too. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Look at this, John. Remember how desperately I wanted to learn the violin? I never had a proper opportunity. Such a shame. I always hated the rule about being silent in this place. Interesting. What's that over there? This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we can find any secrets. 
the only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. A magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose, staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You mean, for spying on people? Wasn't that neighbour missing a finger? That does sound vaguely familiar. Wasn't his name, uh, Theodore? Theodore Gilden, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. Perfect match. My small archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. Made of cherry wood, father's favorite. Still has a faint odor of tobacco, one of the few things on this island that smell like home. I knew you'd find it in no time. Goliath would murder us all. Mark my words, 